let's uh, begin by um, analyzing diffusion in binary mixtures of components 1 and 2. Let uh, u1 and u2 represent the velocities of motion of components 1 and 2 in a laboratory fixed reference frame. u is the molar average mixture velocity. Since the uh, chemical potential gradients are constrained by the Gibbs UM relationships, only one of the chemical potential gradients is independent. The mole fractions sum to unity, and therefore there is only one independent measure of composition. In the Maxwell Stefan formulation, the force acting per mole of species 1 is balanced by friction species 1 experiences in undergoing relative motion with respect to species 2. The frictional term must be proportional to the composition and we take that proportionality to be represented by the mole fraction of component 2. The physical significance of the uh, maxwell stefan diffusivity, where we use the symbol D with a line through it, is that it represents an inverse drag coefficient. The force acting per mole of species 1 is a negative of the gradient of the uh, chemical potential with the units newtons per mole. The maxwell stefan equation can be reformulated in terms of the diffusion flux, which is defined as uh, the flux with respect to the molar average reference velocity Vm is the molar volume of the mixture. Rather than use the chemical potential gradient as a driving force, it is uh, convenient to define a thermodynamic correction factor given by this expression, which quantifies departure from ideality. Indeed, if the activity coefficient is unity, gamma is equal to unity. And uh, the maxwell stefan equations can be recast into the form flux of component 1 is proportional to the mole fraction gradient of component 1. And the constant of proportionality is the maxwell stefan diffusivity times gamma. Therefore, in comparison with the fixed law, we note that the fixed diffusivity equals the maximal Stefan diffusivity times a correction factor that quantifies departures from thermodynamic idealities. For interphase mass transfer between uh, two adjoining phases, the X phase and the Y phase, we may define the mass transfer coefficient, say, in the X phase by this expression, where we uh, assert that the diffusion flux is proportional to the uh, difference in the composition between the bulk and the interface. And that difference we denote as delta x1. K is the uh, mass transfer coefficient. And um, if we use the uh, factor 1 divided by the molar volume um, as a uh, pre-multiplier, the uh, units of the mass transfer coefficient is simply meters per second. So the diffusion flux is moles per square meter per second, and the uh, units of the uh, mass transfer coefficient k is meters per second. It now remains 
to derive the physical interpretation of the uh, mass transfer coefficient. From the previous slide, we note that the uh, diffusion flux is uh, written as a product of the uh, three factors. The first one, one divided over Vm. Vm is the molar volume. Mole fraction of uh, component one times the velocity difference between uh, the uh, velocity of transport of species one and u is the uh, molar average velocity of the mixture. From this uh, expression for the mass transfer coefficient, we can equate uh, these two uh, expressions for the uh, diffusion flux and we derive uh, the expression for the mass transfer coefficient in terms of the uh, difference in the velocity for component one with respect to the mixture divided by the driving force for component one divided by the uh, mole fraction of component one in the bulk phase. Now, um, the magnitude of delta x1 divided by x1 should be uh, less than unity. And therefore, it follows that the mass transfer coefficient should be uh, greater than the uh, velocity difference between component one and the mixture. The uh, physical significance of the mass transfer coefficient is that it represents the maximum velocity with respect to the mixture with which a component can be transferred from one phase to the uh, joining phase. For background to this uh, derivation, I refer you to my paper physical significance of the mass transfer coefficient published in Chemical Engineering Journal in 1987. See also my textbook, Multi-Component Mass Transfer, that was published in 1993. Some other videos on the subject of uh, diffusion and uh, mass transfer are listed here. And these are all available for viewing on my uh, YouTube channel.